Lewis Misser, and this is the AP Calculus AB 2025 exam taken in May 2025. This is free response question number three, the first of the non-calculator free response questions. And you can see it's all about students reading books. You can see R of T is in words per minute, time is in minutes, and we want to approximate R prime of one, which is right between zero and two. And so what do we want to do? We want to do R of two minus R of zero over two minus zero. Okay, yes, that is a zero. And we have a hundred, think about the units, we have words per minute minus 90 words per minute over how many minutes? Two minutes. And so 100 minus 90 is 10. 10 divided by two is five. And so that is five. And what are the units is words per minute squared. Words per minute squared, it's in the average rate of change of this rate and so it's words per minute squared that's part a part b says must there be a value c between 0 and 10 at which r of c is equal to 155 well there is a key word here which is differentiable since it's differentiable it is continuous if the function is continuous, then the intermediate value theorem applies. And so we can apply the intermediate value theorem. What do we know R of zero is? It is 90 words per minute. What is R of 10 equal to? R of 10 is equal to 162 words per minute, which means is there a value C in between here that which R of C equals 155? Words per minute, why did the chicken cross the road? Because of the intermediate value theorem, it applies, it is correct there, it must be a value C. And that is my justification. Let's go to part C. Part C is asking for a trapezoidal sum, a trapezoidal sum. So what do we wanna do with the trapezoidal sum? We take our first two values, we take 90 words per minute, we're gonna add 100, words per minute. We're going to add those two together and we're going to divide that by two. And then we're going to multiply by the difference in the X, which is two minutes. Then what are we going to do? We're going to do the exact same thing, but again, we're going to do 100 plus 150 divided by two times the difference, which is six plus, uh, and we take the next two, 150 plus 162. 162, that is a one, that's a 162 divided by two times what's the difference is two. And we do all of this math. You can see 90 plus 100 is 190 divided by two times two is 190. And so you can see words per minute times minutes is words, okay? 100 and 150 is 250 divided by two times six, which is really multiplying by three. That's 750 words. If we add all that up, then 150 and 162, we add that up divided by two times by two, those cancel out. And that ends up giving me 312 words. And so how many words did the teacher or the student actually read? You add all this up and that's 12, 52 words. And that is how much we read using a trapezoidal sum. Then part D, the last part, they give us a brand new function, W of T, and W of T is in words per minute. And you can see this is the teacher reading. This is how many words has the teacher read by the end of 10 minutes, which means we're going to do an integral from 0 to 10 of negative 3 tenths T squared plus 8T plus 100. And we're going to do that integral with respect to time. So let's do an integral. This T goes from squared up to cubed. So it's t cubed. We're going to divide by 3. That cancels out with this 3. So we're left with 1 tenth t cubed plus this t goes up to t squared. We divide by 2. So that's 4 t squared plus 100 t. And we're going to evaluate that from 10 to 0. The nice thing about the 0 is everything's going to cancel out. It's 0. So we're going to use the 10. 10 cubed is 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. So that's negative 100. 10 squared is 100 times 4 is 400. And then 10 times 100 is 1,000. And we add this up. Negative 100 plus 400 is 300. Plus 1,000 is 1,300 
words using an integral right there. And that is question number three for the AP Calc 2025 exam. Hope that helped. Talk to you soon.